Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn what is known as 3D referencing in Excel. It's a very uh, dynamic functionality of Excel and it will actually ease your work a lot. So I have over here week 1, week 2, week 4 and week 3 which I have put it at the end. I'll uh, make you all understand why I have done this. So here basically suppose I have different items with me and the sales figure for different weeks. Right, and I want to get the sum total of all the sales throughout the entire month, which consists of four weeks. All right. So what I'm going to first do is create a table with different items and their sales value of each month. Right. So what we can do is we can create a format in one particular sheet and simply copy paste the same format in all the multiple sheets. Instead of doing this, what else we could have done is that create a sheet, create a format in one sheet and without, you know, copy pasting or move and copy your sheet or duplicating your sheet, I want the same format at the same time to be created on all the sheets which I have over here. That we can do using 3D uh, functionality of Excel. So what we are going to do is firstly, I will select all the sheets together. Now, how do we select all the sheets together? You can click on shift. You can click on shift and select the different sheets like this or you can simply just select the, uh, week 3 over here. The moment you do this, all the sheets in between get selected on its own. If you want to deselect the sheet, just click on any one of the sheets and it gets deselected. So I'll just show you all that in my week 4, sum total, week 3, all these sheets are currently blank. Again, I will click on shift and I will just select week 3. The moment I do this, all the sheets are getting selected. So when your all the sheets are getting selected, here I will just simply write maybe items and the sales value. And if I want to just give it a little formatting, I'll keep it in bowls and I will give a thick bottom border. Now we have different items. So I'll just write down the different items, pen, pencil, we have notebooks, we have maybe erasers, etc. Okay, so these are the different items which I am selling throughout the week. So this is my basic format. I have just written it once in my week one sheet. I'll just select any one of the sheets now. Maybe I'll select week two. The moment I do this, now you can see that all these sheets have the same format. So I have just written it one time, although but I have selected my sheets in the first place. So this thing is the same action which I performed in week one has been performed in all the different sheets, right? Now I will just simply let me put in the sales value for all the different weeks which we have over here. So I'll just randomly put in numbers. Um, just randomly, you know, putting all the numbers over here. You can take any random numbers. We have week 4 wherein I can put maybe 600, 300, 1000 and lastly we have 300 over here and for week 3 also let me put in random values. Alright and this can be again 200. Alright so we have different values. Now what next? Now next I want a sum total of all these three weeks, week one, week two, week four, I want the sum total of pen, pencil, notebooks and eraser. Now one thing which comes to your mind is we can just, you know, select the cells, move into the sheets, select the cells, select the cells and just use plus, just use plus signs, just use plus signs and select all the cells, click on enter. The moment you click on enter, we have the answer as 1200. So what we did is we went through different sheets, selected the cells that we wanted to add and just click on enter. But what if, if you have 20 of sheets, 30 sheets, 10 sheets, do you, you know, you will go to each sheet and just select each cells. It is so cumbersome, to, so time consuming, right? So in order to avoid this, we again have this interactive functionality provided by Excel. So what do we do instead of doing so much of hard work? What we do is we just write the name of the function sum and then we move to the first sheet week one, select the cell B2, 
वेर ऑल माई सेल्स वैल्यू ऑफ आइटम पेन इज गिवन टू अस आई विल सिलेक्ट दिस सेल नाउ वॉट नेक्स्ट वॉट नेक्स्ट आई विल जस्ट क्लिक ऑन शिफ्ट प्रेस शिफ्ट प्रेस शिफ्ट एंड एट द सेम टाइम क्लिक ऑन वीक टू द मोमेंट यू क्लिक ऑन वीक टू सी वॉट हेज हैपन वीक वन टू वीक टू ऑल द टू शीट्स वी हैव सिलेक्टेड द सेल बी टू राइट सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट बी फोर ऑल्सो क्लिक ऑन शिफ्ट अगेन क्लिक ऑन वीक फोर एंड यू कैन सी ऑल द शीट्स थ्रू वीक वन टू वीक फोर हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड एंड सेल टू बी टू हैज बीन स्पेसिफिकली बीन सिलेक्टेड ओवर ह्योर आई विल क्लोज माई ब्रैकेट हिट एंटर एंड यू गेट योर आउटपुट एज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एग्जैक्टली द सेम द अदर मेथड ऑफ डूइंग इट इज सम यू कैन जस्ट राइट सम फंक्शन मूव टू वीक वन शीट वीक वन सिलेक्ट सेल दिस पर्टिक्युलर सेल बी थ्री now instead of selecting the sheets one by one what else suppose again we have 20 sheets i'm not going to sit down and select 20 sheets right what i can do is click on shift and click on sheet week 4 the moment you click on week 4 see what happens i'm clicking on week 4 shift has an uh, i'm pressing shift and clicking on week 4 the moment i do this all the sheets have been selected in between so week 1 Two week four, all the sheets which are there in between gets selected automatically, and I'll just simply close my bracket, hit enter, and we have the answer. Here I will just drag my cursor, and we have answer for all these different sales. Now, what about week three? So suppose week three sales figures were distorted, I and it went for a review. and then after that i've got my final figures and i have to insert my week 3 sheet between week 2 and week 4 so how can i do that without you know even changing the formula it is so interactive so dynamic just you know shift this sheet in between and let me first before doing that just check the numbers okay it's 1200 1300 2050 2, so i'll just take this sheet in between week 2 and week 4 the moment you do this you will see the figures have changed because it has included the week 3 figures also so it runs from week 1 to week 4 including all the sheets in between now i'll just quickly change the value over here maybe from 2000 let me just quickly make it 20000 and you can see the huge different difference which has been impacted on my sum total sheet so this is how 3d functionality works in excel making your excel workbook very very dynamic right thank you so much for more such content you can follow us on um, our youtube channel actuators kolkata thank you